Hey everybody, welcome back to Loop Hero. We're going into chapter four today. We have dumped a bunch of action here into our war camp. So our hero strength is increased by 16%. I don't know if that's going to impact the Necro that much. Uh, so we could try another class here, but uh, because we had a pretty successful run um, in chapter three with this build, I think I'm going to keep it. This also will help us farm for a little bit more food um the rocks we could maybe make an argument against having but i kind of need to build up that top end hp somehow um and then hopefully we can start to at least make our way maybe we can defeat a few of the bosses in here i don't i don't know but uh boss one and three seem fine uh as long as we don't spawn in a bunch of lich palaces and boss two seems pretty good if we have a decent necro build so let's just rock and roll it shall we keep this over here on this side roll it rolling with the crypt to get the resurrection charges pretty happy about it uh let's just start tossing these in um what we learned in the last run is that the wheat fields actually provide a decent amount of food the scarecrows drop food um the field of blades are something i prefer to avoid but they drop food as well so not too bad all right let's start building our chronos here now I'm going to start... How much, it's tough to see how much space I have down here. I think this is the outer... The outer uh, run for rivers here. So... Maybe I'll do like so. It's not going to be perfect to place metals around. But at least we'll start spawning groves and stuff around our base. And then we can fight them with our archers. I'm not going to place any of these until we know how the rivers are going to go down. Um, hmm. Okay, that's nice. Skeleton levels through the roof on loop one. Laughable. All right, groves. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't know. I'm Italian now for some reason. One of the ideas we talked about too is placing groves right beside our base and then doing... Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So we can do rivers out here. That's fine. And then we'll do mountains, but we're not going to do a peak. Um, yeah, so if we do a grove, and then we do a wheat field, and then a town for the houses, I think that'll work uh, for that area. We might... It depends what comes up. If we don't get the cards to do it, we'll just do all groves. But here's a wheat field, but we need the house first. Okay, so where do we start our river? Now, if I start our river here, then we can activate like two of these. We're going to have like three dead spots, though, to deal with, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but then we get up into this area and we can surround the whole thing. So I'm fine with that. And if we map it out, we can figure where to drop these. So we go river... Um, this would be probably a chrono, or maybe we just chrono here. Tough to say. Um, you could give a little bit of space, but I think somewhere out here would be fine for thickets. Maybe we'll allow this for some meadows, too. This is definitely going to be fine. It might not connect in the way that we want, though. We also have to remember we got to slam this area full of stuff because the uh, Lich Palaces, they go two out. So here, 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 and here, and then all the way around. So it's going to be kind of nasty. And we only get what? Maybe, maybe like 20 placements before we summon the Lich here. So it's important. I won't meadow there. If I chrono there, we can meadow around like this. Uh, but I actually have to leave this open to pass the river. Old painting. Nice. We're running two of these right now. So damage done to boss is increased by 8%. 
this if we bring it home. That's a pretty nice increase as well. Grove here. Meadow here. Mountains. Rocks I'm not going to place. We need villages for these. Forests I'm not going to place right now. It would be kind of cool if the stuff that you randomly find, like these, um, like the furniture or the jewelry, whatever the case may be, if that would be added to your current run as a bonus because you have it on you. I'd also like to see on this screen, like just show me what my supply bonuses are. Like there's space down here, they could probably do it. So now we want to do a chrono here and up so the river comes out like this. And if that's the case, then our thickets can kind of follow this river path. Look at that. We already have a food supply. Now... <laughs> To upgrade all of our towers is insane. I kind of feel like, since we don't benefit from the bosses anyways, that might not be our path to victory. Uh, it's nice to have, but the levels that we currently get and the support that we currently get from our towers seems decent enough. Okay. Chrono Crystal. So, I think we go here. Here. I'd be okay placing another one inside there too. Uh, we definitely want a blood grove. Now, the thing that's interesting here is because of the way the, the lich palaces work, uh, this is a pretty good spot for one. Because these are hard, these are hard spots to fill. This fills one too. These all fill, but I think for now I'm gonna place it out there just to get that extra reach. Okay. You can see like how quickly the uh, the lich will spawn here. It's no joke. None of these are going to get placed. Uh, let's leave it. Okay. Now, I am going to actually place this one here to block a Lich Palace. This spot needs to be blocked too. Um, but that could go Blood Grove or Kronos. Uh, this spot needs to be blocked as well, which can't... This actually, the only thing that will fit here is a Chrono Crystal or a Vampire Mansion. Um, these... Okay, yeah, let's go here only because we can fit three things into these slots and only two into this one. So this isn't adding any value except for chronoing this tile, which is also fine. And then I can actually Battlefield too. That's not bad. I battlefield... Okay, I don't need to battlefield that. I do need to battlefield here, probably. Um, I could battlefield this as well. But then it's behind us completely. Because this will spawn a Lich Palace as well. And they'll spawn one on this road. Probably can't cover all of them, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to hold off on placing meadows right now. Only because we have to really be picky. Oh, hello. So this is our first time fighting a siren. Uh, gets the slimy positive effect. 20% evade. If there are liquid enemies in battle, which there are not. I think blobs might be liquid. 
33% chance to forward a direct damage to a random ally and summoner attempts to summon a jellyfish on every third attack. Holy smoke. There it is. Friendly fire, 30% chance to attack an ally. Good. Creature's first strike is always critical and always hits the target. Legionnaire, 15% damage for every ally with the same ability. Okay, so once he starts summoning more of those, that's a problem. Oh yeah, okay, sirens are fun. Do I just die here? Do I just die? <laughs> okay, well that's unfortunate. Now I have a full re I have a full resurrect. I'm going to take it. Yo, sirens. Okay, now hold on a sec. This happened because of the shipwreck. Um, so this is... What did we place there? Oh, yeah, right. The battlefield. Oh, yeah, right. The battlefield next to the forest. Or for, next to the river. My bad. All right. Well, did we get any decent gear here? Not bad. Not amazing. Skeleton level boosted on the left here. Um... Hmm. Grimoire. Okay, well, that was a kick in the gonads. Holy smokes. We did get the plus one skeletons out of that. Um, let's do the meadows. I assume that later on, the sirens become less scary, but because they're chronoed here, and it's, oh, it's once per loop. It's not even per day. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, temporal beacon. I think right here, it's everything. I could oblivion this. Um... But I might as well just save this to Oblivion a, a Lich Palace at this point. Now we could do another Chrono in this area. Or here. These parts are always weird for placement, but... I think maybe what we do is just go up like this. It's a pretty big drop. The evasion is nice, though. The evasion's really nice. We do drop at one skeleton level. Um, I'm going to keep this here. I'll keep my eye on it. In case we end up summoning the Lich right away here. It depends on what cards drop. I would definitely favor some evasion, if possible. Okay, so I have to place this one here. This one, well, this one will spawn too. It doesn't matter. So either one is fine. Either one. That takes up a palace spot. Here's a village. Okay, this can help. So if I place this here, uh, it takes up a village spot. It's not the perfect place, don't get me wrong. But, uh, or sorry, it takes up a palace spot. So right now I have where? I have this being a palace, this is a palace, and this is a palace. That's it. That's not bad. I think I'm going to place this here and we'll do our uh, scarecrows on this section like we talked about. See how that feels. And then I have an oblivion for one. So right now at maximum we're facing two lich palaces. 
All of these can fall off without worry. That's fine. I might place these meadows, but... I want to see if maybe I can do one more loop here. This helps me... Um, this blocks another one. So I probably have uh, the ability to place like one more thing right now. The problem now is if I place this grimoire, my skeleton levels drop uh, quite a bit and will be under, will be like way below the level uh, when we spawn the Lich. But since the Lich is pretty much going to one hit any of our guys anyways, I think the evasion would be welcomed. Okay, well, what's the most valuable placement here? The river is obviously good. Um... Okay, so I have one. I gotta have like one more. Now, do I do a full other loop here? Hoping to find some better items to then fight the Lich with? Is the question. Or do I just fight him now with this evasion? I'd have uh, over 20% evasion. I think I'm gonna fight him now. Uh, do I need HP? Maybe. I think I'm going to do Meadow. Oh, still not. Okay, here we go. So there's only two. I'll get rid of that one. Now you can see we're starting to stack this. Oh, I wonder if it's possible, like, how would this work? You know how we have that other card that spams out a whole area, which basically fills this bar? If we're in this scenario where we just summon the boss, and then we dump, like, all of these, all of these cards in, and then we dump the golden card to fill it up, I wonder what happens if we spawn in this next boss. Does it replace this or does he get skipped? I don't know. Okay, let's see what we have. We have some attack speed. We have evasion, skeleton level with some evasion going on already. Um, hmm. All right. I think we go with this, 21% evasion. We have three skeletons. Uh, we don't have any summon quality, unfortunately. I could get some summon quality from here. Do I want that? We drop our level even more. Uh, but like I said, he's one-shotting them anyways. So they, they he'll do a little, we'll do a little bit less damage to him is the thing. But if I get some of the quality ones in, it might be better. It's kind of a risky trade, I think. I'm going to do it. Vampire Mansion. Okay, let's see. The boss is taking a bunch of extra damage, too. How's it possible? Shut up. We've got a score to settle. Yeah, and my attack speed's pretty low. He's going to start attacking me now. If we get one of those evades once in a while, that's the only way we can build up anything. Oh, that's good. Now he's all over me. 
Rip. That's too bad. So that is not the way to do it. Um, this little scenario with the with the healing, I don't think is the way to go. I think we need to get our attack speed up like significantly. Um, which means I might I might ditch these completely. Might just ditch all of those. Keep the oblivions. Um. Yeah, that's a tough call. If I just built, like, if I just focused on evasion, I wonder if I could pull that off with this kind of, kind of build. Let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, kind of equal spacing on each side. If I go down like this, come up with rivers like this, and we go across here, there's spaces. So yeah, this is where we build our rivers. I think the idea was correct there, minus the attack speed. And we can get a lot more attack speed going um, if we're not worried about doing the Chrono Meadow situation. We can get it all from the trees. But I think I'll still only place thickets. Um, I should probably just place them in here, but by the time the lich spawns, I'll probably just have to place them on either side. Okay. So we could try our village thing where we do village wheat field. Like so. And then we do a grove here. And that way the dogs can go into the wheat field, dilute that a little bit so we don't have too many scarecrows. Scarecrows scare off a dog. Um, I think the synergy works. We have the protection from our towers in that area. And we're about to find out. Okay, so we're fully kitted out now. Look at us. Level one geared. Unbelievably good, isn't it? It's just, it's not gonna get any stronger. Ooh, a plus one skelly already. Hello. That ain't bad. Now, the battlefield and the, the sirens, they seem very scary. I feel like later on, it's probably not that bad. But to have one where we had it was uh, pretty risky. Didn't love it. Actually, I should probably be placing these as close to the bottom as I can. They have the faster chance of being doubled up by the, by the um, rivers. So it, we'll place these as far down as our rivers go so we get the benefits right away. And then if we're full on this side, then we'll fill up on this side. Now, ooh, hello. Mm, I think we're fine at three, I think. So we're going to do another village here. Wheat field. We'll uh, oblivion this on the second crow because these spawn every two days. Alright. And now we get the blood groves, which are beneficial 
for all of this stuff. Um, because we can place these to block uh, the Lich Palaces as well. Plus, we get the other benefits. Okay, there it is. They're coming in. See you later, banditos. Okay, that's a big boost. Skeleton level over quality for now. Uh, keep our plus one skeletons. Oh yeah, this one gives us quality too. Yeah, we're good. No, that's fine. One point nine two. We do get a skeleton from this, but we drop a level. Um. Mm, yeah, I think early on the extra skeletons are better. Tickets, please. All right, now this is only level two, so we don't see the big increases like level four or five when these regular rings come up. It's kind of nice, but we are half a level behind where I'd, where I'd like to be. Um, I just don't think we can justify the trade offs with the other ones right now. So I'm going to leave it. Attack speed's up to 24%. It's, uh, could be better. <laughs> We're halfway to summoning the Lich boss. Uh, is this better than the one on the right? Yeah, we get some evasion from it. Uh, we're going to Vampire Mansion here because not a lot of things can get out as far. So I think I'm actually going to hit this, even though it's not going to spawn anything yet. This is a tougher tile to fill with our build. So let's put that there to block a Lich Palace. <laughs> Ooh, plus one Skeleton. So we're really low. I, I guess I picked that a little fast because we I don't know if we necessarily need that. Um, this isn't a huge boost, so I'm gonna leave it. We'll find we'll find higher level grimoires to boost that skeleton level as we go on. Okay, another grove. So nothing I can do to block, but we can start placing these. Uh, if we do the the field there, if we do the field there. Um, we could like want to stack our villages. But uh, I think we're just gonna place this to get more enemies right now. I have another vampire mansion. If I place another village, then we're in trouble. Uh, so I'll use our mansion to block something, maybe here. Right now, we still have one, two, three, four, five houses. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's that's a lot. So we kind of need to keep hammering that. I could just put a forest out here to block that, though. That's not a bad option. Um, we could also use one of these. I use this one here. Um, that gets the corner. We can use blood groves for this. Whereas here, I need to place something a little bit more specific. So maybe I'll place this one. 
And I'll use a forest just because we have one to block out there. Uh, I'll replace this for a bit of evasion. So we're at 15%. Yep, that works. Still needs to be higher, I think. Okay, we have our first trait coming up. I could do another battlefield here to block. Um, these things are already covered, so I don't think we'll make blood clots there. Groves can go in, in any of these spots now, so really it doesn't matter. Wait, can, can I put a grove here? I can, but it'll become a hungry grove, and then we'll take that damage. So maybe I'll place this here, and then we can grove grove. Or sorry, uh, blood grove, blood grove. Plus one skeleton, sure. I mean, we just replace this one. Okay. I wouldn't mind some better evasion items here. Okay, well. I'll just mirror our build here. Oh, I just realized I ransacked that village. Oh, well, maybe we'll get some decent drops. Maybe the vampires or the zombies hurt us. It's possible. Plus three loop HP after skeleton death. Uh, healing as we go. Permanent 0.5 bonus to energy armor for every summon skeleton. This could work. It's still pretty early. Summon quality. No. A uh, little bit of evasion. We get the skeleton and we get skeleton level. Yeah, that's like the ideal ring for these kind of runs, I think. 24% evasion. Much better. I didn't even think about ransacking that somehow. Be cool. lost about half our health here and a bunch of healing charges this is trading evasion for skeleton level which we do need but I want to keep that evasion minimum where it is but we'll see if we can find a way to fit that in Okay, less level, more defense. Uh, don't want to trade either of these. So we're not going to summon the Lich just yet. We'll do one more round. Okay, hold up. So I'm okay dropping... I'm okay dropping a skeleton if we get better levels. I don't need the quality, although you could argue that bringing in more of those taunters would be good if the boss starts hitting us. Um, here's some skeleton level. We do lose more evasion, though. So I kind of need to just hold on to these. Yeah, it's unfortunate. That's life. Okay, so we do blood groves out here. We're so close to spawning it. Let's at least do our loop so that's done. And if I spawn in another village, I'm safe. 
do the wheat field. There he is. We brought him one palace. That's pretty good. Got an oblivion, which will be helpful. Um, how do I want to play that? River here. So now let's do the same kind of idea. We do the wheat fields. And then we'll do one here. That's going to spawn the bandit camp. Two crows. Ooh, look at that evasion. That's a straight up better version. Oh, this one's even better. Hello. 31% evasion. Pretty good. Pretty good. Makes me not really want to trade anything else. Again, I don't think skeleton level, like, they, they do less damage, definitely, but. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, that's a tough one. We definitely need the boost, but man, that's a tough call. We'll, we'll, we'll think about it. I think we got to stick to our guns here and uh, just keep that evasion high enough. Even though I don't feel like that is high enough, to be fair. Don't need to place the vampires right now. Okay, so we drop one skeleton to get a big boost here in level. Eh, it's only like half a level, but we're on loop five at 3.82, so. I am tempted. Oh, wait, uh, we're gonna crow here. We're gonna crow and then I gotta nail this thing. One sec. See you later. I'm tempted to place these forests for uh, the bonus attack speed. Before we fight the Lich. But, like, it's nice to hold all of this for thickets, obviously, right? how we feel so I can get essentially one two three four five six seven eight nine eighteen percent more attack speed it's pretty good go back extra skeleton yep ooh more evasion actually but our skeleton levels are so low i'll probably put that in right before the lich fight i do think we take that one two three four so i have a free village to place so if we do uh field grove Field, house. <laughs> yeah, I think I got to trust my guts here and stick with evasion. This would help quite a bit. And then we can focus on levels after the Lich, I think. Hopefully, maybe. <laughs> we already... We already... Did we lose our resurrection? I think we lost... No, I think this was the... That was the previous one. All right. So, also, we'll spam these all in. If some fall off while we get extra cards that could potentially be better, then I'll, I'm okay with it, but... All 
I wonder if we're going to get uh, another perk. Yeah, I think we are going to get another perk before fighting him, too. Okay, that's fine. This might be difficult. Just because of the boss one. Like, just giant war of attrition. Man, this is kind of scary. Plus one resurrection charge. Oblivion's resurrection. Okay, we are going to get the big heal, obviously, which is nice. I think I will just place these now, because we can get all the benefits in these other fights. We're probably going to go to this evasion one. Then we keep this one uh, to place after the boss if we don't get, like, a boss drop. Uh, this ring has some evasion. Uh, it's better than the one on the right. I don't really want to drop to fewer skeletons, I don't think, for this fight. Do I? If I go to three skeletons and I have... I would have... Man, I would have quite a bit of evasion, though. Let's fight this, and then we'll, we'll plan. We might get different stuff here. Okay. So, we have a better version of that. Rivers can go. Thickets can go. Forest, yep. Grove out here. That thing's a bit annoying, but maybe we'll build it out this way. Wheat field, grove. Okay, so now, if we're going to fight this, I think we should focus evasion. Our skeleton level is going to suck, though. That's the problem. If I take this one over the one on the left... Then we're down to two skeletons. I don't know if I can go down to two skeletons. This is a small improvement upon the one on the right. I'm at 44% evasion. Uh, 45 now. We're under leveled on skeletons for sure. Yeah, I think that's how we got to do it. Let's see. Our attack speed's definitely higher than it was. Seems to be working. He's attacking me. Don't love it. This is where the max skeletons come in nicely. So there's our 15% res. Okay. It's gone. 
We have two full resurrections now. I almost wonder if at this point, if I switch this in and bring him uh, an extra skeleton to hit, if that could be the difference maker. I'm looking for other options here, but you can get an extra skeleton from this. Drop 16 evasion. This one drops only 13, though, and we get the levels. Yeah. It would have been nice if we brought in, like, a taunted, like, a, a bigger version, but we still got him. We still got him. It's impossible for so many reasons. Yeah. I don't understand. Next time, I'll try something new on this punching bag. Yeah. Okay. So, now what's crazy is we're so close to summoning in the next boss. Um... I think I gotta take this this grimoire. Lose a skeleton, that's fine. This gives us some decent evasion, regen, and defense. Um, regen and defense, I don't think, add a lot of value here. Where are we at? One, two, three, four, five villages. So the next one would spawn in uh, problems. Let's see how we do around this loop here. I don't think much is going to beat that level 8 grimoire at the moment. Mind you, <laughs> that's 4.65 plus 0.27, okay? So 4.9-ish, let's say. This takes us up to 3.75-ish. 3.75, yeah. Or 4.75. So it's like very similar, but the, uh, the other one gives us the summon quality as well. This might be good for evasion. It's less of a priority now. We definitely want to make our skeleton stronger. Um, I kind of want to keep that skeleton level and the max skeleton on the left. So let's replace this one. And this is more evasion and quality. Oh, this will actually be good. This will be better than that one. I'm okay dropping evasion now a bit for other options. All right, let's go. Okay, so this drops evasion, gives us regen. Don't need that. Okay pretty decent boost um it's giving us like half a level i don't know if it's that important this magic hp boost is nice though max skeleton ring gives us quality a little bit of evasion hmm I'm going to give up a level for an extra skeleton. Attack speed? Uh, our attack speed's getting up there. I think that's fine. Defense isn't terrible. I want to place these. Not yet. I feel like we're definitely going to have to fight the boss in this round. Hello. Okay, so the next boss, I don't know what kind of trickery they're going to play because I've never summoned it on Chapter 4. 
Um, it's the mirrors, right? So I don't know if that's going to change at all. It's possible. Okay, here's another plus one skeleton. We improve on the base level, but this nets out to be kind of neutral. Uh, but I'll take the extra skeleton. We get the attack speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. This is where we really accelerate that attack speed. It's really cool. Now, okay, so can I place... I can place these on the outer edge, right? So I'm going to have my river go up like this, and I can place thickets all the way across. And then I can fill some of these areas too. What would we like to see better right now? I'd like to see my skeleton level higher. And I would like to see pretty much that. Pretty much my skeleton level being higher would be great. Uh, some evasion would be decent, I guess. If we find good items. Uh, let's go here, because this corner will benefit us a lot. Hopefully we just drop higher quality cards that we can use to spawn in the boss. There's some evasion, but... Ooh, big jump. Big jump here. Uh, the nice thing about five skeletons against that next boss, though, is that we're always going to have damage coming in if we can get that fifth spawn. But can I ignore this? It's a 0. 0.6 increase. Which takes us to 5.69. Much closer to where we want to be. Much closer. Either one of these loses a skeleton. Any, any replacement loses a skeleton except for the amulet. Um... Might hold that. We have some pretty sweaty fights coming up here. Ooh. 4.3 something? Nope, not good. Nice little oblivion drop there. All right, there it is. Can I just oblivion the boss? <laughs> that would be so nice. That would be great. I'm tempted to oblivion this only because there's two boss zombies. That feels like it's going to be a real pain to kill. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now these turn into those other things, though. Oh, gross. Those are blades of grass. I wonder if that's going to cost me. So 
So far, so good. Oh, max skeleton boost. Yep. Thank you. So now everything we have is giving us a plus one skeleton. If we drop from six, I'm fine with it. But we only drop for either like a big boost in levels. So this would be good uh, to replace the grimoire now. Um, let's just see what else we drop here. evasion so we could drop uh something we would drop all of our quality or drop 0.27 levels for a one percent evasion boost nah okay this is good full hand of oblivions tempting 10 percent of findings no um, I think this is a trap. Because, like, there's nothing I want to Oblivion right now. I guess maybe some training dummies at some point. Um, uh, maybe, I mean, it's, let's get three new traits. Plus one skeleton. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Okay, so now we're at seven, which is more than enough. So now let's take the skeleton boost here. Um, do I have a better ring? Not really. Still get 9% from that. We want to keep that summon quality going. I'm going to spawn in some of our forests here. I can do another village here again. Just so that we don't have to face those things. We'll have bandits. That's a bit annoying, but maybe we can oblivion them at some point. I am going to place my forests. And then we'll do... Do I have any wheat field spots? Okay, I think that's fine. I wouldn't mind having more evasion. Wouldn't mind having our skeleton level be a bit higher. Jeez, it just dropped so many cards. Unbelievable. Okay. Tickets. Tickets. We'll use the forest. Uh, another battlefield. One, two, three, four, five. But we deleted one. So I think that was, this was our sixth, right? Because we spawned this in. Okay, let's see how this goes. I think we're going to stay. Could you please stop? I refuse. Oh, they bring in two angels? Oh my god. Okay. Well, now we know. Let's see if we can get our... Yeah, there we go. Now we get those archers in. That's crucial, I think now damage is coming in constantly and those don't get removed Woo! okay baby unacceptable you can be mad as much as you want your rage won't stop me i am mad but not at you i've been given such power but i am not worthy of it i'm unable to persuade even one fool to lower his weapon one more servant of God shall perish because of me. No, this time I'm going to burn your body. Farewell to you. Burn it. Cut it to pieces. Bury it. There's no difference. I'm the faith itself. Do you think that you're able to kill faith? No, but I think I've learned a lot from you. I will believe. I will believe that this world has a chance. And I will believe that I can succeed. Okay. Well, that's very interesting. <laughs> uh, getting those two archers up was absolutely crucial. Very neat. 
very neat. We got this thing, which I guess is fine. I don't know. I think we just keep the extra skeleton for now. Um, yeah, okay, tell you what. Let's take a break here. I've been doing, like, longer videos, one per day. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this format a little bit better? I don't know if you like the shorter videos or... Let me know what you think. We'll go from there. But uh, I'll take a break. When we come back, we'll continue battling. And... Oh, check this out. This is now Accounts Land. Interesting that that persists, even though we destroyed this village and we brought it back. Now it's Accounts Land. Huh. I do need to get rid of this bandit camp, but um, we'll figure that out. All right. Wish me luck. See you next time.